The $20,000 Drivers Invitational Championship kicks off on February 9th. And for this edition of Behind the Colors, we've got Rick Plano. Rick, thank you so much for spending a couple minutes with us. Now, I want our viewers to know exactly who is Rick Behind the Colors. Well, I'm a, actually a 70s guy. Um, before I got into the horse game, I was into the cars. Uh, back in the 70s, it was all muscle cars. This is a 1973 Mustang. I've had it for about 15 years or so. And um, I've got a few other ones with it, but uh, I, I'm uh, kind of a car nut. I've probably spent a million dollars on cars in my life. And um, then I decided to start racing horses and uh, kind of forgot about the cars a little bit. <laughs> Not entirely, because you've got this beauty right here. Thank you so much for bringing that out. Now, talking about the cars, is it something to do with the power of the car that might have that relationship to driving the horses when you're on the track? Is there some sort of connection there? Well, you know, there always is. With cars like this, uh, you know, as I said, they're called muscle cars and they're speed cars and, and uh, you know, racing is speed. And, you know, I've always been, you know, into the speed thing from when I was very young. You know, we were always racing. I raced motorcycles when I was young and, uh, you know, kind of raced cars like wasn't supposed to. But we kind of raced, we drag raced a little bit. But, uh, you know, speed is uh, a lot to do with this and horses. And it's it's been in my life, uh, you know, forever. You're like Ricky Bobby. You just want to go fast all the time. Yeah, well, I don't know about Ricky Bobby, but uh, I like to go fast. I like to go fast. I like that. Now, Rick, I have to ask, what is the most you've put into one car? I know you've spent millions of dollars on cars in general. What is the most money you've thrown into one car? Well, to restore this car right here, it cost about 26000 Why do you want to put $26,000 into a car like this? What drives that? Well, uh, the reality of it is this car is probably worth, you know, 30000 So, you know, it's like uh, instead of putting money in the bank, I got a car. I can drive around it. And I can have a little fun. And uh, it's still worth, as I said, the money that I put into it. Now, when you're driving these cars around and when you're fixing them up, you do this hands-on or do you take it somewhere to be fixed? No, I, I did this one myself. I do a lot of hands-on, but I have some other cars that I had fixed for me. But I know a lot about cars. Well, the older cars. The newer cars today are way too complicated for me. So I just know I'm an old school guy. I know about the old cars with the spark plugs and the points. The new cars today, I pick up the hood. I have no chance. It's all about computers, and I'm not a computer guy. That's all right. You don't have to be. Now, just because this is way too much fun, I want to make sure we talk a little bit about the championship as well. The unique thing about this championship is that you will get to choose what horse you're going to drive. So I want you to tell me how you feel about that change. I, I was in a driver challenge uh, just before I came here up in New York, and uh, that's exactly what happened to me. There was about 10 of us guys, and we didn't have a choice of drives. And for whatever reason, I was kind of unlucky with the draw, and I didn't have much of a chance. I think I only got a total of five points, and the winner had about 36. Oh, boy. So I, I didn't have much of a chance. This way here, with the, where we can pick our own horses, I think it's a great chance for all of us to, you know, have a fair chance and, and uh, hopefully, you know, get close to uh, the winner's circle. What are you going to do with the $8,000? Are you going to put it into one of these beauties? Uh, maybe I'll buy another one. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, Rick, you already know that you're in the first quarterfinal for all of our viewers out there. That is going to take place on February 9th, and Rick will be driving against Dave Ingraham. Good luck to you, Rick. Continue to have a great time with these beautiful, beautiful cars, and you guys stay tuned for more here at Isle Casino Racing Pompano Park.